Welcome to the Trimix Auto Injector Calibration and Injection Tutorial. This video is for information purposes only and does not replace medical care. Please consult with your physician regarding all the details of making your injection. When we receive the box, we will go ahead and open the box and remove the little bag from inside. As we open, we will find several items which together make up the auto injector. We also have a little pamphlet on the side which explains what is going to be described in this video. <clears throat> the first item we will take out is called the body injector or injector body. The second part is the syringe housing. We will need the small adapter which goes from the letter K to the letter R and this little yellow short adapter which we will describe its use further on in the video. To begin we will screw the adapter in the front part of the syringe housing all the way to approximately the letter N. We will then insert an empty needle into the syringe housing and screw in the injector body. At this point the needle should be protruding out of the front. The goal of the calibration is to make sure that the only thing protruding out of the front is the needle without the plastic part at the bottom here. In other words, this plastic part should be below the lip to prevent pain once the needle flies forward. So we will go ahead and put it a bit below the tip and the auto injector is now calibrated. We will go ahead and record the letter where the calibration takes place for this specific needle so we can look at the auto injector for future use because sometimes it gets uncalibrated with regular use. After we record the place of the calibration we will go ahead and remove the needle. We will now go ahead and attach this yellow piece to the front part of the depth adapter. We will turn the syringe housing backwards and we will push the slider inside the injector body all the way to the rear. This will lock the slider all the way to the back and the auto injector is now ready for use. We will remember to remove this yellow part because otherwise the needle will not be able to come out and make the injection. At this moment we will draw our injection or a needle with our medication which was prepared from before and we will insert this inside the syringe housing. We will screw it into the injector body and now the auto injector is ready for use. The auto injector has a safety device which is seen in the window. While the window is red the auto injector will not work. If you press on the button it will not work. In order for the needle to fly forward the auto injector must be pressed against the body and the red in the window will disappear. Then as the auto injector is held with one hand pressed against the body you press on the button and the ejection is made. We then slowly pull the auto injector out, remove the needle, 
discarded in a sharps container and we can then store the auto injector for future use. Thank you for taking the tutorial and if you have any other questions please remember to call the pharmacy or your physician.